Commissioner, um, stop and search are words that have a certain connotation and they don't have a good connotation for the police, do they? No, particularly in London. If you look over the years at what's happened, we had SUS back in the 60s. Mm -hmm. uh, you had Section 44 of the Terrorism Act after 9-11. More recently, you had something called Section 60. And all three of those in London have caused one big thing, which is in some areas has been what's been called random stop search. Mm -hmm. And that's the history of particularly many black people in London. And as the families have grown up, that's been their experience with the police. And that's created distrust between uh, various communities and the police? Yes because there has been some disproportionality and the number of people stopped. And I arrived in 2011, which was just as the, the riots had happened. Mm -hmm. well, we had no public inquiry into what had happened, but I thought it was important to try and understand, well, what are the contributing factors? And for me, all the people, not all, but many of the people I talked to constantly refer back to stop and search. Mm -hmm. We looked at the Dara Singh report. You look at the statistics. Statistics don't tell you everything, but there's something there that I thought we needed to look at. So you took unilateral action? Yeah, well, unilateral in the sense that the public were asking me to do something. Um, the Met itself knew that there was something needed to be changed. And I thought it was entirely possible to do less stop search, be more effective, and critically, we had to maintain the community support. But the arrest rate's still very low. Too low for comfort, says Theresa May, throughout the country, well, as a result of stop search. I think, you know, that perhaps it could be better. I think what we point out, uh, Kirsty, is that over the last two years in the Met, We've reduced stop search by over a third. Mm -hmm. We've doubled the number of, of arrests to nearly 20%, about one in five. We've reduced the number of complaints now by nearly half, and we've reduced the disproportionality. So I think what we, and at the same time... Disproportionality in black and non-black. Yeah, sorry, to say different members of the community aren't stopped in proportion to their membership of the community. Mm -hmm. But at the same time we've reduced stop search, what we've also done is reduced violence, both shootings and knifings. You have reduced under Section City 60 where you can target a particular area for a particular amount of time without necessarily much suspicion. You have said you wanted to reduce that, you reduce it by 50%. Reduce it by 100%. Well actually in terms of Section 60 we have reduced it by about 92%. Mm -hmm. Huge numbers less. But, and what was happening ironically, was that because borough commanders were being put under pressure, mm -hmm. you've had a stabbing, what are you going to do about it? The, the automatic almost response was to actually put a Section 60 stop search in. The irony was that the more there were, the less effective the police are. So we've managed to get down to probably some days about one st Section 60 in London of the 32 boroughs. You still have situations where, you know, we have evidence of, uh, you know, a young boy, he was 11. He was stopped and searched. He had too expensive a rail ticket. I mean, that is exactly the kind of thing that percolates through a community and adds to problems. Well, I'm not going to sit here and say it's perfect. You know, we employ human beings. They make mistakes, and when we make a mistake, particularly with somebody who's innocent of any crime, and frankly, probably never will be guilty of a crime, we leave a really bad imprint on that child, on that family. So it's important to get it right, but I think it's an important power that used wisely is really effective. But a generation, really, has been lost to you in terms of trust. Well, I don't think lost. I think it's always important to keep trying. So what I've said is, first of all, I heard what you said, we the Met have heard what you said, it's not been used always wisely in the past, but it's entirely possible to keep it and use it wisely. And finally, just to, just to mention, is that I was entirely open-minded, your point, should we stop it altogether? All the public that we've talked to have said, keep it, but you've got to target the right people, and when you do it, do it with respect.